In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on the Windows registry. Um, in the previous module, the introduction to the registry module, we sort of gave a brief overview of the registry and how it works and its components, etc. Um, and our goal is to lead up to a module on the um, actual forensic analysis of the registry, what kind of keys are important in the registry, what you should be looking for in a system. Um, this module is going to be the second of a hopefully three-part series on this. And here we're kind of just going to bridge the gap going between your understanding of the, of the registry to um, actually analyzing it. So here what we're going to talk about is actually extracting the registry hives from an image or from a system. So what we're going to do is now that we understand the registry from the first module, we're going to say, okay, now we know what the registry is. How can we find the actual hive files, the files that contain the, um, the registry on a machine so that we can then go and analyze it. Analyzing it is going to be the third part, but here we're going to use this tool FTK Imager, um, which, you know what, let's wait. Um, we're going to use FTK Imager to actually go ahead and make, um, well, find the, um, find the hives. So we can do this um, from two systems, or two ways, really. Um, first of all, let's say we're analyzing a live system. So you can load FTK Imager onto a USB drive or whatever, and then load it onto a system that you're um, looking at at some given moment, say a suspect's machine, or if you want to look at it on your own system, which is what we're going to do here, here I have a Windows 7 VM. So say we're looking at a live system, so you can't just go ahead and um, go through, you know, the Windows folder on your machine and find the registry files. Uh, most of them are located in Windows System 32 config, um, but if you look at the PowerPoint, you can see some more specifics on where these are located. Uh, but you can't just go ahead and go and get a copy of those because Windows is currently using them and they're protected, so you can't actually go ahead and get them. Um, FTK Imager provides a means of actually um, getting a copy of these files directly from disk, and what I'll show you here is how we can go about doing that. Um, so simply, if we open FTK Imager, and again, links to all this are in the other components of the module, we can do what's called obtain protected files. Like I said, the registry has protected files in your machine, and what we're going to do is just simply tell it where to put it. We'll put it on our desktop. Uh, let's make a new folder and call it, you know, acquired hives or whatever. And we want to actually get all the registry files because we want to analyze the registry files. And then we hit OK and give it a minute here. And what it's going to do is basically get all the registry hives and save them to this folder on the desktop over here. Just let that finish. No, it's not responding, but hey, so. And while this goes, the next thing we're going to do is I've actually gone ahead and found a dead system for analysis. So it's an actually just an image of a drive that was taken. Um, this is from the NIST hacking case, which we used in other modules. Um, that's basically a just an entire dump of a drive, or really of a machine, um, which is presented. And again, the links are in other components of the module. And that's there for your own analysis. If you go and actually complete this hacking case online, it's actually got a whole bunch of questions, which a lot of the answers which you can determine from analyzing the registry. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mount that onto my Windows 7 VM here. And then I'll show you another way where without mounting it, in case you don't want to mount the drive, you can actually go ahead and walk through and make copies of any files you want. And in our case, of course, you'd want to make copies of the registry. Um, but here you go. First of all, we have the acquired the hives right here. These are your system hives, your registry hives. These are the files containing all the registry information um, from my local machine that I'm talking about here. So if you wanted to go ahead and analyze that, we now have a copy of it. Um, like I said before, you wouldn't just be able to scroll through to these, um, you know, go into your C drive or whatever because these are protected files. FTK Imager, however, has alternate means of acquiring these. Um, so now the other thing I was going to say is how we can use FTK Imager to actually mount an image. So like I said, we have that image from um, the NIST hacking case. And what we're going to do is you can see, I went ahead online and downloaded all the components of this drive. And then I combined it using the cat tool on Linux. Uh, we discussed that in the, um, I think there's another module we had building a VM from a DD image. And there we discussed how to combine all these files. And what we're going to do is select that um, generally, you can leave these as is. I actually have an E drive already for some for something else. I'm going to change that to H. But most likely, you can leave these as it, whatever it gives you here. Um, if you actually look at the user guide for FTK Imager, it'll give you some more information on um, 
on what these mean and what you can change them to or what you would want to change it to. The user guide here is actually very detailed and very good at step-by-step -step explanations of everything you can use FTK Imager for. Anyway, if we hit mount, you can see that it's now mounted the H drive here. We can then unmount it if we wanted. Um, and now that it's mounted, we can actually, oh, that's not actually in your screen, but now it is. Um, if we go into my computer, we can see right here, local disk H, this is the bad drive that from the NIST hacking case. This is, you know, the, the drive for analysis from that hacking case. Um, and if you don't believe me, you see Mr. Evil, that's the guy, one of the guys. I may have given away an answer just now, but that's um, the drive that you're looking at in that hacking case. Um, so we've now mounted this drive and we could then scroll through it for analysis or scroll through it to find the registry files that we would like um, to then make copies of it and then, you know, analyze it later with other tools that we'll introduce in the next module. Um, the third way we can actually analyze or obtain the registry files is we can actually add evidence into FTK Imager and if we add an image file because that's what we have, we can again find this chart thing. And we now have it loaded in here. So it didn't actually mount it, meaning that's not a, it's not actually a drive on your system, but it is um, loaded into FTK Imager and that you can now scroll through it, find the partition, um, the regular partition, and then pretty much walk your way through it. Um, and now what I'll show you is now that we're walking our way through it, so like I said before, most of the registry hives are in the Windows System 32, I think I went one level too far here. Windows. My mouse is acting up here. Windows System 32. Uh, config folder. And you'll see you now have the SAM registry hive, security, software, and then some other files. The ones with file extensions here are actually um, backups and stuff. The ones that you're looking for, the ones that are actually hives, are the ones that don't have any extension. So, for example, system, that's a hive, has no extension. Now now that we found that, so now if we want to actually go ahead and analyze it, we need to get a copy of it. So now that we've loaded this drive into FTK Imager, we can actually right-click and just export the file. We can export it directly to the desktop if we wanted to. And we've now exported it, and you can see that we now have the system hive. Uh, obviously, if you had mounted the drive, you could find the file the same way, and then you can, you know, copy it again and then analyze it that way. So again, we've now shown three ways to um, extract the registry hives from a machine from a live system. You can use FTK Imager to obtain the protected files, or from a dead system, from a dead image, you can either mount the drive um, and then basically walk through it, or you can, you know, add it, load it into FTK Imager, and then scroll through it as if you're scrolling through any other drive here or any other like you know directory and find the hives that way um, we will exit this now once you have these hives so like I said we're gonna actually um, analyze them in a later module but just so you can see what that they actually contain the registry um, information here um, access data puts out another free tool it's actually really a demo similar to uh, FTK Imager, they have another tool called Registry Viewer. That's a pretty simple tool. Um, we're going to be in demo mode, so we'll hit no and then OK. And all it does is let you view registry hives. So now that we have the two on our desktop, we can, for example, go into the acquired hives from before and say we want to look at the software hive. It pretty much just loads it up. So this is the software hive as it would appear if you went through Windows Registry Viewer or anything like that, um, you know, RegEdit reg edit or whatever. Um, here it is using FTK's um, registry viewer, which you can basically just use to view one hive at a time. Um, and I'll show you the other one that we have as well here. And here's a system hive, which we just got from that, um, we loaded the NIST hacking case uh, image in here. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. So again, we had that intro module before which introduced the registry. Um, this module sort of discusses how to extract files or extract the hives from the registry. And again, a future module, hopefully part three, will actually discuss how to analyze these files. Now that we have them, how we can easily extract registry keys and registry values from them. So I hope this was uh, beneficial and I hope you kind of learned how, how different ways we can find the registry hives and extract them.
So thanks for listening.